Hello there my friends. Welcome back gals and guys. So we're here with um, Singer 414G and last time we had been talking about oiling the machine. We'd been in the top, we'd taken the top off and oiled in there and then the bottom is still off, it's over back there. So the oil is dripping off the bottom because we soaked there. These are wicks. You'll sometimes notice is that these will get filled with, with dust and stuff as well. And uh, but hopefully whatever's in there, the oil can still soak through. So I wanted to go over that just so that, you know, that's another part of the sewing machines that we we don't really talk about that off. This has to come off. The motor has to come out. We take a look in there, inspect and clean. Clean off the motor spindle. Clean off the hand wheel gears and the, the washer, the clutch washer and the little hand wheel parts. I'm going to get started on taking that hand wheel off and getting the motor out. Nice little crack when we broke the varnish bond. And it is turning, but it was difficult. So the motor is not stuck in the... In. And that's not a bad brush. That's a pretty clean brush. There is a little bit of carbon dust or carbon staining there and it's pretty uniform like on the contact point the you know the the wear marks are yeah and there's no oil this is in really good shape so I have some 1000 grit paper everything looks fine there the the contacts are in place, the, the wires are intact, or the wire is intact. So I'm looking for dirt. Certainly there's no oil, thank goodness. There is a little bit of staining, whether that's from carbon dust from the brush or not. I, I can only assume that that's what it is. And so when we replace these brushes, we that slot and see how much more brush is left in the tube. So I'm really pleased about this. The that's a green wire and now it looks like a black wire right right there. So once this is undone, we have to go back to this end, and that is the corresponding nut, the two corresponding nuts actually, one for each brush, that keep those screws in. This screw will come out, or should come out, let me push that one through there. And now we can separate the motor gently. There's going to be a, an insulator in here. That's the insulator. It goes there, like that, so that there's no contact on the back of those pins, those contacts. And then there's another bracket in there. Don't know if you can see it. Oops. It went on the floor. And I have to retrieve it. Yeah. Picked it up with my extension magnet thing. You guys got one of those? Yeah, the way I drop screws and all that. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, there's the little, the little bracket or uh, shim, whatever, that keeps everything in line. The the soldered terminals that they're attached to, they're they're dust free. I mean, it's a really clean machine. Everything looks fine there. The 
the contacts are in place, the, the wires are intact, or the wire is intact. So I'm looking for dirt. Certainly there's no oil, thank goodness. So this sandpaper is 1000 grit sandpaper and what I have here is the motor on its on its side. Let me make some room here so I don't have to move the camera. So I have the motor on its side. I have this 1000 grit paper and I've cut the paper so it fits the the commutator coppers. Whoops. Spin that. If I want to tighten the tension on the sandpaper, then with my left forefinger there, I'm pressing the sandpaper more again. So I haven't even been doing it for a minute, really. Well, let's see. Let me go another minute. So I've got to go to... Okay. And that's to line this up with when you put the two parts together. And it's clean. You know, I mean, it's it really is a a clean motor. There is a little bit of blemish there, maybe some moisture stains, I don't know. But the rest of it is is really clean and I am really really excited about how clean these copper windings are and the bracket inside. You know, I mean, I do get some on my finger. There's there's no two ways about that, but this is decades worth of 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 age and wear and tear and dirt, I guess. A little bit of a uh, little bit of varnish there from from maybe something getting down there. But it's a it's the cleanest motor I've ever seen. So I have all the parts in there and uh, I I don't really have to restore this motor. This motor is clean enough that uh, it's good to go. I am going to clean the spindle and the the cowling here on this end. And uh, the other thing I would like to do uh, is I would like to get in there and take a look at that bottom bearing. And uh, so next time we'll 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 have a look at that. See what's going on. See if there's anything going on down there. But uh, anyway, I'm going to continue along, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Have a nice day.